Okay, so it's a little after four, and I am going out to get my pills. That's the thing for today. Um, that's what I'm wearing. I look alright. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's a little after four. I was up at um, it was about nine o'clock in the morning. I didn't really do anything last night. I just kind of sat down. The smell out here is revolting. Um, it's as bad as it's ever been. Um, like it's bad enough that you almost can't walk through it. It's disgusting. Um, the reason for that is easy to understand. Um, the temperature once again shifted. It was very hot uh, for a couple of days and then it got cold. So flushed right back down. It's the same thing as before. Uh, easy enough to understand. Um, it's the reason I need to have the heat on. Um, at least it keeps it out of the apartment. Or at least I feel like it is. It's walking around the very front like right around the very close parts of the door. You can kind of smell a little bit. It's hard to know. Um, like it's one thing to be like sitting here and be like, hmm, I smell tobacco smoke. That sucks. And it's another thing to be like sniffing around the door and be like, do I smell it? And then, because then you're dealing with the um, psychological aspect, you know, do you really smell it or do you think you smell it? It's, it would be nice to have some kind of um, an objective metric, but if one exists, I don't know of it. Like I say, a stencho, a, st a stenchometer. I don't, uh, I don't think such a thing is real. Um, but uh, certainly, um, there's no ambiguity when you walk onto the hallway. It's, it's brutal. Um, but like it, it, and it's, it's the temperature gradient. So, um, the only um, tool I have at my disposal at the moment is cranking the heat. Um, it's still relatively nice. Uh, it's about uh, 15, 16 degrees out. Nice enough to wear a tank top. Um, or nice enough for me to wear a tank top, anyways. Uh, I think maybe some people might find it a little chilly, but they're not Canadians. Or at least haven't always been Canadians. This is, uh, <coughs> this is summer up here. But, the weekend is about to get really, really gross. Really gross weekend. They're calling for 50, mil 50 millimeters. But why, don't they, why, don't they, why don't they say milliliters? Huh? I know, they're measuring it like it's the... millimeters of rain. I think that went through for a second. Um, that's a lot of rain. Um, so I'm doing this today because not only am I in for the night, um, I'm probably in for the weekend. I'll need to double check that. And a couple of things like I could go see the damned tomorrow, which are like the damned, <laughs> you know, it's like. I would go see the damned if it wasn't fucking terrible out, right? So I don't know, um, you know, and and I had an infinite supply of cash. As it is, I'm actually going to be a little bit low this month um, because I'm paying for. Well, what I'm doing today is I'm going to get pills for last month, right? Or I'm going to at least fill the rest of them. It's, even though it's really for this month, and I'm actually. Um, either way, like I said, it's going to hit me twice a month, so. The flip side is that it didn't hit me at all last month, right? So, or at least it was very minor, anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's, I've got a, a couple of things I'm going to look at for tomorrow night, but I don't, I don't expect to go to any of it. 
Um, I just want to get one of these to get done for today, done so that I can uh, just kind of burrow uh, through the rain for the weekend. What that means is I'm going to spend the weekend um, checking checking forward for the month. Um, top of doing all the budgeting and other things. It's really um, I will probably do some cleaning on the weekend. It's dependent on some other factors. One of the things I need to do when I'm out is get paint for laundry. So the weekend is not looking very exciting. Uh, just all the things. Um, am I ever going to get back to what I was doing? Um, I don't think. Not before Monday, anyways. I'm also uh, running out of space on this card, and I'm going to have to prioritize that for the reason of the court date, which is the 11th of March, now less than two weeks away. Um, that's something I gotta, you know, do. So, this will be coming off probably over the weekend as well, and I'll have to get that going. Um, which I mean, that's what I, that's what I just finished doing was catching up on the last bunch, right? So it actually, it actually took me the length of a memory card to edit the last three. But I mean, it's not, it's not representative of anything. Um, it was lengthy for all. How about the doctor's bit? Well. Like I say, I, I, I determined that um, I have all the recommendations I need here. I don't have to go anywhere to talk to anyone. But I was thinking about that overnight. What does that mean? Well, if I have to go to Ottawa or maybe even Montreal, get the orchiectomy, why wouldn't I just get the surgery? You know? It's maybe a little bit silly to me to have to I mean the whole point was to stay in Windsor, right? The whole point was that it's a pain in the ass to get all of this done, I'm never gonna get there. It doesn't matter anyways, because it's not gonna really change my lifestyle. But I wanna get the testosterone producing organ removed from my body so that it's no longer producing testosterone and I no longer need to take the drugs to suppress the testosterone, right? But if I have to go across the province or to a different province, um, to get that done, then that defeats the point. And if I can get all of the recs I need right here without having to go to specialized doctors. See, I didn't know they had changed the, the process either, right? I mean, I, actually, it's not, it's not true. I did know they had changed it, but I didn't, I didn't realize the extent of it, right? So, um, I need to think about that. I'm going to, uh, I'll do, the, I, I think I pointed this out, I'll do the research myself, I didn't do it today. Um, I think a lot of offices are closed on Fridays. I'll call on, start calling around on Monday um, to see who it is that's willing to do this and who it is that isn't. And if I can find someone to do it here, I will do it here and just have it done with. But if I can't find someone to do it here, and I'm going to have to go anyways, and I have to... See, I'm going to have to go through basically the same process anyways. I'm going to have to talk to a social worker, but I mean, I can do that here. It's just getting a closer look at what I have in front of me upends the whole... Uh, up in the whole process. So, 
don't know yet. But that's something else I'll be thinking about over the next couple of weeks. Just like I say, if I'm gonna, I'm an efficient person, and if I'm gonna go, especially if I'm gonna go to Montreal, it, it doesn't make any sense to go and then come home and then five years from now go again. I might as well just do it all at once. I really might as well. They'll cover breast implants too, if you're curious. I didn't know that. I didn't think they would. I don't want breast implants. <laughs> it's really fake. I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. No offense to all you Barbie dolls out there, but it's not me. Is that a cat? You are one ragged, mangy looking cat. Sorry to insult you. It's a strange place for you to be hanging out, and you're looking... You're looking more like a giant rodent, I must say. I have a theory, anyways, that cats are rodents, particularly. But they've been biologically miscategorized. I know the proper biological categorization for the Felidae subgroup is Rodentia. Rodentia. You gotta roll the R too, just to get it right. Rodentia. I thought it was like a muskrat or a like a mink or something. Huh? Fucking cat. How was I saying? The, the point was that uh, this is going to be a bit of a, bit of a quiet weekend of odds and ends kinds of things. Um, the whole month has been like that. I, I mean, I guess I, I know, did lots of things, but I didn't really... I mean, it was April 1st that I said, okay, I gotta clean. And so I'm not gonna get back to what I'm doing. And then I never got back to what I was doing. <laughs> so I've just been on a holding pattern the whole month. Um, but it's really all the same things that I just gotta keep doing uh, until I'm done doing them. It's gonna be a quieter month, though, I expect. You never know. I mean, I, I could have a string of cheap shows. I doubt it though, I, I expect it to be a quiet one. But we'll find out. I'm almost at the store. <clears throat> Answers the question of how long does it take to get to the store? 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And I think that uh, I don't really have anything else to say. So. So I, I got the issue with the pharmacist workout as well. He I ended up not paying the bottling fee at all this month. Um, that was weird. Like I just got like zapped or something inside of me. I hope I don't get home and realize that I got something just came out of my socket or something. Cause that was weird. Almost like an electrical shock. It's on the side of my hip. I paid 48 today. I paid 20 last week. 48 plus 20 is 60. I have a math degree I'm holding. But that means it's 12 less than what I would normally pay. Meaning that the math up. But I mean like 
I pointed it out. I don't want to sit there and haggle with him. What he should have done was just refunded it flat out and then let me pay the difference straight up. Alright. He, he, he deducted the bottling fee twice. I guess that was holding. But he... He was confident in his work. So... I'm not going to sit there and... No, you did it wrong! I'm not going to do that. He was kind enough. I think that uh, I, I, I was more interested in just evading the scenario altogether. And moving forward. So, this is what we're doing. Um, I gotta pick up some stuff, some groceries. It's gonna be like a half run because I actually have enough groceries still. I bought way too much soy milk last month. I don't know why, it just did. It didn't seem like it. But, uh, I did. And, uh, and I mean, like I had, I was, I, I was sure, I mean, I had a lot of junk food last month again, but I was sure, I made sure that I had a smoothie every single fucking day. And, uh, it didn't work out, so. I may not have to buy any soy milk. See, I, I, think, I think the flip is that this month I'm going to lose the, well, I mean, I, I just made up 12 there, so. I just went from losing 60 bucks to losing 50 bucks. And I think I may actually even make that up. Like, I don't I don't need to buy coffee this month. I might need to buy coffee twice next month. I doubt it, but I don't. So I don't need coffee. I might not need soy. Or at least not until later. And it'll be a reduced amount. I'm still running on strawberries from the end of March. So, can I, can I make up 50 bucks in groceries? Probably. If I can, it'll be like a normal month at least. So. I keep thinking I have something more profound to say and this is not coming. I don't know. Groceries it is. It's a bit of a challenge uh, getting some change for the uh, laundry machine. The laundry machine. The washing machine. Um, the laundry contraption. The spinomatic device. The thing on my jig that makes the pants smell good. If that's even true. I think that um Due to my surplus of soy milk in the previous lunar cycle, I'm I'm in uh, pretty good shape to uh, come in well under budget on my food this month. Meaning that um, I should actually be able to have a more or less normal month after all. And that is good. The place smelled terrible when I went in to drop this stuff off. I freeze the fuck out of it. And, uh... Well, so it's like, no, I might have to focus the fuck out of it again periodically do so. I think that um, I'm otherwise in for the weekend. This was calculated well. It's supposed to rain tonight. Uh, let's say my, my, my decidedly non-scientific estimate would be about 
the air smells like rain. Some some sense of distant raindrops. Is that what it is? As I mentioned previously, the weekend is just an addendum of things. I will no doubt forget things as I'm doing them. I'll forget them before they're done. And then they won't get done, so I've got to do them. You thought that didn't make sense, didn't you? I got you. Maybe I will keep you abreast of the situation. And maybe I will ignore you altogether. As I say far too often, we'll have to find it. I'm glad it's at least spring though. Maybe it's not summer yet, but it's spring. It's, uh... I got an hour on Wednesday walking. Two and a half yesterday. And another about an hour and a half today. So, lots of walking. It's the time of year to walk. I'm mean, gonna have to do a compost run soon as well. Walk, walk, walk. I think I'm in for the weekend. The breeze actually made a dramatic difference walking in, and it was actually just a little bit. It was only like an hour ago, so not even more like, well what, it took me 15 minutes to walk there and 15 minutes to walk back, I was only in the store for a minute, so, and then, but then I was walking around, okay, so 45 minutes, maybe an hour ago, so the freeze, I mean, it was just a couple of quick sprays, so that, if, if that made a difference, and it's still noticeable after an hour, it might be even in like, it's like third hand. Well, it's just like from the walls and shit, right? It's just, yeah, that's what it does, right? So, um, I need to sit down for a few minutes. Uh, I gotta watch a few things. That's actually a part of the process. And then I need to do the dishes. And, uh, I think I'm gonna spend the night, at the very least, making sure that I'm not missing anything over the weekend. <laughs> and then, you know, and at the very least, planning out the next week. Um, I don't know if there's anything, like, right away. It might be more like a middle of the month kind of thing. I don't know. Like I say, I, I, think, I think this can be a normal month anyways. It won't be a busy month, but at least a normal month. I mean, like, you know, like a couple of times. I'm just saying from a financial perspective. Then again, I've got my court date in the middle of May, and... Um, it might work out if if it works out in my favor. Um, I could have a have a busy end of the month. I don't know. Like I say, again, that's one of the things I got to do is clear this off. And in fact, what what happened there um, was that my memory card filled up. I thought I had a few more minutes than that. I guess not. Um, change plans. I am actually going somewhere tonight. Um, there's a kind of a electronic night at um, at a space downtown that's on the strip that they go towards from time to time. I Meaning it's about a 20 minute, 20 minute walk from here. Um, I didn't know that was happening until I got like a little notification as I'm sitting there reading my Facebook. Um, I think it's worth, uh, worth exploring. I think part of the reason why it's, I'm gonna cat. I think part of the reason why I think it's worth exploring is uh, that I've never been there before. And I mean, it's nice enough out that, uh, so, and it's here on the side of the border. Cheap cover. I don't know if it's licensed, though. 
I found myself across the street in the fountain. Um, yeah, a little bit of dancing, and uh, hope it's fun. Um, low battery. Turn on that. Uh, I'll be back in a few hours. This is not done. Not a long night. But, uh, guess what? It's about 10. A little after 10. Close to 10. I'll be there close to 10. So I appear to be at the downstairs of the Capitol Theater, which is where the Windsor Symphony Orchestra sometimes exists. My understanding is it's pretty quiet here. Although they, they seem to have things from time to time. We're downstairs tonight. In here. And, yeah. We didn't get a face shot today. So. There we go. So something that happened tonight is that I stepped in this. Um, I had to find a park to wipe my feet off in. It, it, that, that's brutal. Like, it's like I'm in the middle of the city. It's like a downtown street. It's... That is absurd. That should not happen. That should never happen. Okay, but that was fun. Seriously. Um... I can walk through here now. That was fun. Um, it was meant to be an early night. But... I'm second-guessing that. I'm gonna go home tonight, um, one way or the other. I think it's really early. I think I can get home and get back to the bus. If I calculate that I can, I'm not sure. I think it's like 11, 15-ish. I don't know for sure. Um, I'll find out when I get home. Um, I am prioritizing going home. <sighs> but if it's early enough, I might come back out. It's the same as with the cry wolf, except that I'm actually making sure I go home tonight. That's the first priority, and I might change my mind when I get there. But I'm kind of thinking, why? Well, I don't want to go back across. <sighs> I might want to figure out what's actually happening tonight before I go, right? So that like, if it's a dubstep, I'll stay home. That's why. That's another, the other reason I'm going first, because I want to check what it is first. I learned that lesson. But again, I'm kind of prepared. Um, it's less that I'm kind of, like I, I, I legitimately, I legitimately plan to come home tonight. It was, you know, like I'm not unprepared. It's just. Desire. It's gonna. It's all gonna hinge on what time it is when I get home. Right. If I get home before 11:30, I think it'll be a little later. 11:45 has to be the cutoff. I'm putting that down. I don't have to get well. I can say I planned poorly, but that's not the truth. The truth is that I designed this to force myself to come home, right? So I'm going to listen to myself. <laughs> like I say, we'll see what I feel like when I get home. It's hugely time dependent. But I sent myself home, like, for a reason, right? It's not even May yet. Am I gonna miss something because I go out tonight? That's what happened in April. Well, I didn't actually, but almost did. Right? Like I say, I'll, feel, I'll see what I feel like when I get home. Well, somebody just told me it's close to one, which means I never had a chance in the first place. I don't, I don't feel that late. I'm a little bit skeptical. But I guess it is what it is, huh? I'm gonna tell you. Um, let's see if I can double check that. Yeah, it's one o'clock. Um, considering it took me about 20, 25 minutes to walk here. I, unless it was late, I never had a chance to catch it. Anyway. And I would have to go to the bank machine like there's. It, 
I had missed it anyways. So. I planned for an early night. I shouldn't be irked with myself. That was the plan. <laughs> and I carried through with it. And like I say, it's not... I didn't plan poorly. This is, this is my subconscious. <laughs> and it was probably the right choice. I think we're gonna have it. <laughs>